Good morning, you six, and welcome to this World Book Day 2021 with Mr. Long. Now, if you haven't looked at Mr. Nicholson's lesson yet, I suggest you do his lesson before you do mine, because the two can be linked if you choose them to be linked. And so you might want to have a look at Mr. Nicholson's lesson first. Assuming you've done that, we'll get on with today's lesson. So, what I want to think about today is book covers and all the different types of book covers that uh, you might have noticed. And I wondered, um, really, just whether you've had a good look at book covers in the past. You may um, have a look at things, see whether you, um, you like the look of a book by its cover. In fact, there's a saying, isn't there? Don't judge a book by its cover. Well, that's pretty much what we're going to do today. So I'm going to have a look at a couple of book covers now of some books that I've got in my house here and see what you think of them. So let me go to the visualizer. I hope you're going to be able to see these. I'll go to full screen. I know sometimes when you're looking at these after we've recorded them, they go a bit, bit blurry. So can you see this? Let me see if I can move it a little bit. In fact, I'll drop that out of the way at the top here. It says, from the author of War Horse, Michael Moore Pergo. And in fact, I don't know if you notice, but the author's name is actually bigger than the title of the book, which is interesting. They tend to do that with very famous authors. Then we've got the title here, The White Horse of Zena and other stories. Zena is a, is a beach in Cornwall, by the way. Um, and you can see that. What else can you see on the... Um, illustration here you can maybe see that there's a Cornish mine a tin mine up there on the cliff's edge and we have a white horse here and did you know that another name for the white part of waves are white horses so the white horse of Zena that's the front cover let's have a look at the back what do we notice a smaller illustration here this is part of the story, actually, about a shell necklace. Then it says here, we've got a bit of blurb. I wonder if you can see that. Sorry if it's blurry, I'll read it to you anyway. It says, since the beginning of time, strange and mysterious things have happened here, meaning Cornwall, at the furthest edge of Britain, where the sea gently washes over the land and myths brush against reality, lies Zena. Set in a churchyard where men become beasts and ghosts roam freely are haunting and, and unforgettable tales where magic lies around every corner. And once again, it says under here, from the author of War Horse comes this mysterious magical, magical collection of stories. And then down here, we've got some of the little shells that have fallen off the necklace. And down here, we've got the publisher, FSC. And we've got the price, six ninety nine, and a barcode there. Let's have another look at another one. This is one of my favourite books. Really simply illustrated the front cover. It says over a million copies sold. The Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy. And at the bottom there, it says Douglas Adams. And you can see this is the outline of a planet. On the back, it says volume one of the trilogy uh, in the trilogy of five. That's a joke, by the way. You should know that a trilogy only has four, uh, three books. It says on the 12th of October 1979, the most remarkable book ever to come out of the great publishing corporations of Ursa Minor and Earth was made available to humanity. The Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy. It's an ordinary Thursday morning for Arthur Dent until his house gets demolished. The Earth follows shortly afterwards to make way for a new hyperspace bypass, and his best friend has just announced that he's an alien. At that moment, they're hurtling through space with nothing but a towel and an innocuous looking book inscribed with the large, friendly words, Don't Panic. The weekend has only just begun. And again, we've got a barcode down the bottom, we've got a price here. And it says here, with uh, material from the Douglas Adams archives. Douglas Adams being the author. What else have we got? Many of you might recognise this one. Again, almost as big as the title. 
is the author. I'll let it settle for you. It says from the number one best-selling author, David Williams. And then it's got a picture of children in a hospital bed. It says free hospital dinner inside. I think we can assume that's a joke. There isn't a dinner inside. And then let me move this up a little bit. It's of course the midnight game. Lovely illustrations. And then on the back, it says, Welcome to the Midnight Gang. Midnight is the time when most children are fast asleep, except, of course, for the Midnight Gang. That is when their adventures are just beginning. It's signed David Williams. It's illustrated by Tony Ross. I absolutely love David Williams' books. They will become classics. Now, that's a quote. And you might like to think about quotes when you come to your task of making your own book cover. Um, it says, I absolutely love David Williams' books. They will become classics by two, by Sue Townsend of The Guardian. That's a newspaper. So that's a critic from a newspaper. And then it says here, Dahl finally has a worthy successor. I presume that means Roald Dahl. And that's from The Telegraph. So another newspaper critic talking about it. So there are three storybooks or novels. And I want you to have a think about what I want you to do today is to either come up with a front cover for the character that you've just been describing in Mr. Nicholson's lesson, or if you like, since I normally teach maths in this period, you could come up with a maths book of your own to help year sixes with, with maths. So year six maths book. So I've got three non-fiction books here. This one here is a book from my bookshelf. It says the British monarchy for dummies. Um, and it says here, it says bringing the extraordinary history of British monarchy to life. And it's got pictures of lots of kings and queens of Britain. And at the bottom, it says Philip Wilkinson. So that must be the author. Historical writer and author specializing in history, the arts and heritage. So because he's not as famous as David Williams, they've told you who he is and why he's written the book. So what qualifies him to be an expert on the history of the British monarchy, kings and queens? It says, a reference book for the rest of us. Meaning people like me who need a book for dummies. These are excellent books, by the way. Um, it says on the back here, it includes insights into the lives of the current royal family. Britain's heritage told through colourful lives of its kings and queens. We've got more blurb here. It says something about the author. Philip Wilkinson studied at Oxford University and is a historical writer and author specialising in history, the arts and heritage. And then down the bottom here, it says, The Dummy's Way, explanations in plain English, get in, get out, information icons and other navigational aids, tear out cheat sheets, top ten lists, a dash of humour and fun. And down the bottom here has the price. In the UK, it's £15.99. In the US, $19.99. And in Canada, $23.99. So, there's a non-fiction book for you. I've got another one here. Another one of my favourite books. Down to Earth. Oh, let me put it up there. Down to Earth by Monty Don. He's a gardener on television. I don't know if you would know who he is. But it says down here, this is the distillation of 50 years of gardening experience. It has all the tips and essential pieces of knowledge that enable you to make your garden grow well. And it also shares my view that gardening is the secret to living well too. Monty Don. There we go. Price in the bottom corner. I if you can see that. Very expensive. It's a hardback book. And then the publisher down the bottom. And we'll have one more. Another history book. Horrible histories. Scotland. He's a man with a clan. On the bottom it says by Terry Deary. He's the man who invented all the horrible history stories. And he stars in a lot of the um, television programs as well. Or he doesn't star, but he appears in them. It says here, it's history with the nasty bits left in. Want to know how to play gruesome games like Twisting the Cow? 
What the Scots use to do with burnt pigeon droppings, whether you're a glaikit, deuce or peely woy, discover all the foul facts about Scotland, all the gore and more, the original and the best, and then a price down the bottom and a little Scotsman in a kilt with a Scotty dog. So there we go, I've shown you six covers of books to give you some sort of inspiration, I hope. So your task is to design a book cover basing, basing it on the character you've just been describing in Mr Nicholson's lesson or a maths guide to help pupils cope with the rigours of year six maths. So I've done a little um, uh, waggle, I hope. I'm sure you could do better. I've done it electronically. So you could either do it on your whatever your electronic devices or you could do it with a pen and paper or, or colouring pencils, however you like. OK, if you're going to do it on paper, then do it in your topic book. No, sorry, do it in your English book. Do it in your English book. So this is the front cover. The book is called The Modern Maths Masterclass by Richard Long. And underneath it explains who I am, because I'm not as famous as uh, David Williams. So by Richard Long, one of the UK's leading maths teachers. Yes, indeed. And at the top it says, all you need to know about year six maths in one easy to read book. Then I've got some maths images that I found on the internet. And then I'm, I've done a back cover. So I've got the price down here. Look, UK price, £6.99. I've got the images that I have on the front cover. I put them on the back. And then I've got some quotes. I wish I had this book when I was in year six from Brian, Professor Brian Cox. That's very kind of you, Professor Cox. And it says, wow, now I know to, how to find percentages of a number from Mr. Hamlin. So thank you, Mr. Hamlin. I appreciate your support as well. So that's your task. Front cover and back cover. If you're doing the character, then obviously you'd put a blurb here um, rather than a quote or possibly both. So that's the end of your task from me. I hope you enjoy creating your front and back cover for your book. And I look forward to seeing your results. Please um, send the photographs to your teacher of your results. And don't forget, put them in your English book. Have a lovely World Book Day and I'll see you again soon. Bye bye.